Okay, so I had another issue last night I wasn't aware of until this morning. We got a hard rainstorm. Can you see the water stains on my sofa? Right here. So, my window leaked. Why did my window leak? Because of that big tree out there. Yeah. That lovely big tree clogged up my window weep holes. So, and right now I'm sleeping on the sofa with an air bed on top of it because I still can't climb my ladder because of my foot surgery, which is probably a blessing because this, the sofa, caught all the water. Um, there is some water on top of my water tank too so I um, carry my little shop vac we are not focusing there we go my little shop vac and I also carry a little green machine so I have been sucking the water out of the couch with the green machine and I have this mini tool kit for the shop vac that I will clean the window ledge out with. Like I said, why isn't anything focusing? Ah, this camera. I think I need to set a setting. Okay, now we're focused. I had it on um, macro for the window frame. So, we'll go back to the shop vac. So I'll use my shop vac. That's not a shop vac. <laughs> I'm losing it. I'm losing it, y'all. I'm losing it. This is a little green carpet machine. Jeez. Which I'm sucking up the water out of the sofa with. Look at that line. Ick. And my shop vac. So, and one of these days, I would really actually like to take this sofa out and recover it. So, but that's not in my near future. And yeah, my soggy, wet window frame. So if you're parked around trees and they shed a lot, keep those window tracks vacuumed out. And I was going to do this and I forgot. After the trees were done shedding all over the place, I just forgot. I cleaned it out while it was shedding, but there was still some residual from the shedding afterwards with the winds and everything. So, yeah. Okay, get to work. So, if you can hear me, what I'm doing now is just pressing into the um, cushion, and you can see it pulling out some of the water. So, it's gonna take me a little while. I'm gonna get that done. Okay, and then I'll show you how I'm going to clean my window track. Yeah, I was using a blow dryer. <laughs> that would have taken me all day, so I quit using the blow dryer and got my equipment out of the van instead. Which is, you know, this is the overflow stuff that goes to my van. Oh, I've got a mess over here. Sorry. Okay, so... I will mute the sound of the vacuum so you don't have it blasting in your ears on the video, but I'll show you how I'm going to clean up my frame. I've got my mini, micro mini tool kit made for shop vacs. So, move that so it doesn't go down, and we will start. And I won't talk, I'll just um, lower the volume on the video.
all that standing water, it's not a good thing. Okay, so there's a lot of water. Wow, look at that. It's a lot of water dripping out of my track. Because my weep holes were clogged. Those are my weep holes. And they were clogged. So, I'll tell you what. The mini tool kit was one of the best investments. And a shop vac is really necessary in my opinion. And I'm lucky that my screen also slides over so I could do all this from the inside. So, and, um, you know, oh well. I've done a video where I popped off the glazing, ble ble bleh, glazing bead and uh, cleaned around under it really well before, too. It's a job, but it's all called RV maintenance. And it usually happens at times where you don't expect it to. At least I had my bed, my sofa in bed position. So the sofa took the brunt of the water and not the wall. So I'll continue working. Another thing I did was I switched my hose to the other side of the uh, shop back for it to exhaust. And then I just started blowing the track out with my mini tool kit. So I think it's called a micro or macro tool kit or something like that. But it's made for shop backs. And of course, this being so small, when I was headed on intake, it was getting clogged. But being a girl, ta-da, I have one of these. A nail file. So I cleaned it out. So that worked too. Okay, back to work. Right there is evidence of the tree stuff on the inside of my track. From opening and closing my window, but look, it's all trapped behind my screen. And I just want to make a note that um, this window was resealed three years ago, so it's not leaking because it wasn't resealed. When I had my uh, re new refrigerator installed, they had to take this window out to get it in the RV because my door wasn't wide enough. So, okay. Anyhow, I'm done with this job. I'm going to turn on my portable AC. I had it on dehumidify for a while, but it was getting hot in here. And with the AC function, it still dehumidifies, so I'm just going to leave the AC on, leave everything exposed, uncovered, um, so that it can draw the rest of the water out. And, um, yeah, I love this shop vac. I, <laughs> it has saved me from many, many perils, or whatever you want to call it. And this is my bag that I just keep all kinds of my vacuum tools in, so... I got one of these, thinking it would be great, uh, that I could just use my shop vac as my normal vacuum too, but these things keep breaking, so I gave up on that. I think that's my third one. They just keep breaking, so, so I have a regular vacuum, because I vacuum every day. Okay, catch y'all later. Get this mess cleaned up.